Hey guys, I'm Diamond Squid, and this is my tutorial on how to create an online chat in Unity. I'm going to be using the project that I've set up over the last four multiplayer tutorial series episodes, but if you want to use an already created project or a new one, you can do. Just check out the first one for how to set up Photon. So I'm going to go into my scene, in my game scene, and then on our main game canvas, as you'll see, it sets to scale with screen size. Under the canvas, I'm going to create a new UI input field and I'm going to anchor it to the bottom left corner of the screen. Then, I'm going to adjust the size of my input field because this is where a player is going to type in the text that he wants to send to the other players in the game. I'm going to rename it something like chat input field and then open our player prefab. Add a new script to our player prefab called chat manager. Open it up inside of Visual Studio. Inside of the script to start, we're going to want to declare using unityengine.ui so that we can access all our UI game objects. And then I'm going to start creating variables. So I'm going to create a public photon view and call it photon view with a lowercase, and then a public game object called bubble speech object. This is going to be for our actual speech bubble sprite. Then we're going to create a public text called updated text, and then a private input field called chat input field and another private bool called disable send. So to start coding this, we're going to create a private awake function and inside this we're going to set chat input field equal to game object dot find chat input field dot get component and then our input field script. Then inside of a private update function, I'm going to type an if statement stating if photon view dot is mine and then we're going to type another if statement inside this called if disable send and chat input field dot is focused in other words, we're inside our chat put field. And then here we're going to set what key we want to press to actually enter the code. So I'm going to use something like our slash key, you could use the enter key or whatever you want. And then underneath this, we're going to create a new pun RPC. And then under this, private void send message. And then input a string and a message. Inside this, we're going to set updated text.text equal to our message and then we're going to start a new coroutine called remove which is going to eventually remove our speech bubble object after a few seconds so it goes away. Under this we're going to create that remove in an IE numerator. I'm going to inside this I'm going to type yield return new wait for seconds and set something like four seconds so that our players have time to read the text. Then we're going to set our bubble speech object to false so it doesn't display and also disable the send equal to false. Now we're going to create a private function called onPhotonSerializeView and we're going to pass a few parameters through this, one photon stream called stream and one photon message info called info. Inside this private function we're going to create an if statement stating if stream dot is writing and then inside this we're going to type stream send next and then we're going to set our bubble speech object to active so it displays. Else if and then we're going to do stream dot is reading and then we're going to set our speech bubble object to a bool and then stream.receivebool and then back in our private update function inside that if statement we've created earlier we're going to call a few things so to start I'm going to type photonview.rpc and then send message which was the private pun rpc function we made earlier then photon targets to all buffered and then chat input field.txt then I'm going to set our bubble speech object to active and then our chat input field.txt equal to blank also set disable send equal to true Save this and head back to Unity, where you want to drag your player prefab into the scene and then drag our player prefab into the photon view section. And then we want to start creating our bubble speech object. Quickly before this though, add another observed component to our photon view script and drag our chat manager script into this. Then apply all these changes to our prefab player. Now, under our player game object and our world space canvas, I'm going to create a new UI object and it's going to be an image. Scale it right down to size because our canvas is world space, so we need it to be just the same size as our player. And then move it to sit above your player. I've already created a speech bubble sprite, but you can create one or download one from the internet. Make sure this sits right above your player. And then create a new UI text object as a child of our speech bubble image. Adjust the text so that it fits within the speech bubble because we don't want our player typing things that go outside of it. And then as always, adjust the font until you're happy with how it looks and the size and colour. Once you're happy, we're going to go back to our player game object and then we're going to apply all the overrides and then make sure to drag our image and our text into the right fields on the chat manager script. 
Then set your image to inactive because we enable it through script and also delete the player prefab from the scene. Save your Unity scene up and then hit play and also create a build so that you can test that it works between other players on the network. And as you'll see, I've got two players in the game and if I type something in our input field and hit our slash key, which is what I set as the enter key, it'll display on both players' screens and destroy after four seconds and it works the other way around as well. I might change my enter key to something like a control key such as shift or enter because as you can see the slash shows up when we type the message. That's the end of this video, I hope you've got a working chat button. If you don't, make sure to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you for all the positive support and feedback so far. I'm in the middle of creating a Discord server so that you can ask for help and suggest videos. If you'd also like to check out my Patreon, the link will be in the description. Thanks for watching guys.